you're starting a new TV show. What's it all about? Well, I'd like to start a TV show that features guitar music. A guitar is one of the leading instruments sold in music stores. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you can buy a guitar almost anywhere, whereas years ago you couldn't. So um, I'd like to help people to see the how-to technique that's used in today's music. There is so much guitar music, whether it's on radio, uh, television, uh, CDs, DVDs. I thought it would be a nice idea to show people what you can learn to play some of the same things that you hear every day. But how did you get into the music business? I got into the music business when I was a teenager and I just listened to the radio and what really got my interest was listening to guitar players. The guitar just stood out amongst everything on the records that I heard. And my imagination was such that there was a disc jockey and he would play these songs and introduce the group. But right before he would introduce that song in the group, whatever, whether it was a singer or a group of singers, he would say, are you ready? And to my imagination, I thought he had all these people in that studio playing these songs live, instrument to instrument. Well, of course, later on I found out it was just a, a record of 45 or a 33 or 78, whatever. Uh, so anyhow, I learned how to play the music because of my interest in that guitar. Well, was there anyone in your family who influenced you? Well, you might think so, but not really. It was just uh, different guitar players. At the time, I liked rock and roll. I liked Chuck Berry, and then my interest grew to jazz and Kenny Burrell and George Benson, Grant Green, and other uh, uh, jazz guitar players. Well, at what age did you become professional? Well, I remember I, I was 17 years of age, and I started playing in nightclubs for adults. And, of course, I knew that I was not the right age, but I don't know, for some reason, we would just paint on a little mustache, you know, below our nose, and uh, kind of a little thin black mustache and, and try to look like we were older, put on a jacket and just try to act like, well, we're, we're, we're adults. And uh, that's how we did it back then. Who are some of the people that you, that you have worked with in your career? Well, it varies. Um, Barry White was uh, the disco singer. He had that beat, that driving rhythm that baritone voice, Grammy Award winner, I worked with him. Uh, we had that uh, orchestra, it was really great. It was nice to work with uh, someone who had uh, an orchestra to play with, so you hear the violins and all the parts while you're playing. Um, then on the jazz side, uh, Lou Rawls, another Grammy, Grammy winner, I recorded music with him as well and uh, was with him when he had his Grammy Award. Uh, female vocalist, Frida Payne. She had uh, Grammy Awards, um, very interesting songs that were love songs and also other songs. And someone who a lot of people know but don't know about his music career as much as I do, uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, Bill Cosby used to be a jazz drummer and he has a great ear for music and I played with him when he had his 13 piece band in Hollywood. So I've been around, played with a lot of different people, I've done a lot of the uh, TV shows and a lot of the um, jazz festivals around the United States. So what will you be doing that will be interesting to the viewers on your show? What I'd like to do is um, show the technique involved in playing today's music. 
the music that everybody hears, but what does it look like while somebody is actually playing it? I'd like to show that because when I grew up, we didn't really see that. We weren't able to see TV like a American Idol and see these singers. Uh, it was just radio and some TV shows, but not like today. And there are videos today that will teach you how to play. But what I'd like to do is take that right to a live video that's actually done while people are looking at it. So that's what I'd like to do that's different and try to incorporate uh, as many styles as possible, but uh, utilizing the technique that you can use regardless of what kind of music you play, there are certain things you need to know. So we're hoping that with all the guitar players out there because of so many guitars being sold, that this might be something they'd like to see and hopefully get educated up another step that uh, isn't being presented any other way. I'd like to let our listeners know that, um, and our viewers, that George Walker Music does a variety of things. We create CDs, uh, DVDs, we do jingles, we do film scoring, we provide uh, the music for films, and uh, we teach, we actually uh, publish guitar music books. And what we'd like to do is uh, show people how to play today's guitar music today. And if you have any questions about uh, the uh, music that we present and some of the technique that we present and that we use, feel free to let us know and we'll answer your questions live on TV as well. The way to get in touch would be through gww36 at hotmail.com and for videos on our website and live music, go to the World Wide Web, georgewalkermusic.com, and you'll be able to sample a lot of the things that I was just talking about. Not only will we be presenting music lessons, but we'll actually be showing some live footage. And I want uh, our viewers to see a short clip of some of that live footage that we'll be showing about the music that I play. So uh, here's one of those uh, live clips that uh, we'll be presenting in the full.
I was saying earlier, the part of our show that would like to feature the most is actually about the guitar and playing today's guitar music today. And um, one of the strongest uh, things about guitar is playing blues notes. And uh, a lot of people have a very strong interest in the blues. As a matter of fact, I uh, had the opportunity to play behind Buddy Guy at the Roxy Theater in Hollywood uh, quite a few years ago. So uh, he's still alive and well along with the blues. So just a couple of uh, ideas for uh, fellow guitarists out there, uh, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. <laughs> something from my book uh, called How to Play Today's Guitar Music Today, and it's a little uh, Delta Funky Gut Bucket Blues. <laughs> up a little bit of uh, blues versus jazz. Well, the blues is all about 12 bars of music and what we call a one chord change, a four chord change, and a five chord change. And that would mean in the key of E, it would be E, A, and B. To make it gutsy, I like to use an E7, an A7 and a B7, such as that introduction. That's out of my book, How to Play Today's Guitar Music Today. What I did was use the introduction, and then I used it as a turnaround within that 12 bars. So you can use an introduction, and you can use it as a turnaround, depending upon what song you're playing and how you want it to sound. For instance, <laughs> B7, back to E7, 12 bars of blues. That's basic beginner. The other part is when I was playing what I call rhythm power chords and actually making the changes, what I mean by that is the first part was E, the second part was E6, and the other part was E7. Now, on the power chord style, this is what that sounds like. So I'm actually making changes within those power chords. The basic power chord is this. That's for that rock sound, but in the blues, we kind of dress it up. 
and start playing changes. kind of dress it up a little bit take it to another level and it just depends what what you know and what you would like to do from there we can just keep adding on layering layering and we can put a few notes and add what's called a, a group of notes and then we can actually take that group of notes and utilize it throughout all three chord changes. So we take a cluster of notes, add some rhythm to it, put it in between all of those uh, three chord changes. And uh, for instance, what would that sound like? <laughs> we don't want to do is uh, leave out those of you that like jazz and would like to see about what you could learn from uh, these videos that we're doing live. Well, for instance, there was a demonstration of blues at our, another level, but here's some jazz at another level. It's actually 12 bars, uh, but the things you can do in jazz are just a lot more than what you can do in blues. For instance, want to leave the rock fans out so we do have to give you some rock <laughs>
also want to let you know what uh, kind of equipment we're using today uh, for the guitar. This is one of those uh, Oscar Schmidt Delta. It's uh, nice and bluesy, jazzy. We're using a Behringer V-Tone amplifier with two 12-inch speakers. I use Diodario strings. I use the uh, blues Diodario strings and they're good for sounding bluesy or jazzy or even rock so uh, that's my choice and that's what we're featuring in equipment today so if you have any questions about uh, any of the equipment just send us an email at gww36 at hotmail.com and uh, we'll be happy to try to give you the best answer that we can find for any questions you have Thank you for listening. I hope you appreciate what we're doing and we'll try to keep it as interesting as possible from show to show. And once again, thanks for our engineer Rick who engineered all of uh, what you see and what you hear. And uh, Dora Goldstrom for uh, introducing me. And we wish that uh, you tell other viewers about this show and that uh, we continue to do this. And if you're interested in guitar lessons, I have a lot of guitar lessons through Metro Community College, and I have private lessons, and I publish uh, guitar books, how to play today's guitar music today. Thank you. Hey.